हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रॉम शिवशंकर दयाल दिस माय न्यू वीडियो ऑन पॉइंटर्स दिस विल बी द सेकंड पार्ट आई गेस ओके सो आई रिमेंबर सम टाइम आई टोल्ड यू पीपल अबाउट लिमिट्स ऑफ सिस्टम सी स्टैक साइज इज 8192 किलोबाइट्स so if we do the calculation 8192 multiplied by 1024 is this much and uh, one integer takes four so we can have so many integers now of course some of stack will be used by other components of the system or the program so let's say in this program which is my pointers 2.c uh i have allocated these many integers by the way before we go further let me say that this video is recorded at 72p resolution so if you want to see it uh, in a beautiful way then please view on youtube at 720p okay so we have so many integers in int a and then i did something really doesn't matter we'll see about that later so i say point is 2 it is up to date let's go and run this and fine okay so now let us push this limit a bit up now this is certainly beyond our stack limit so we compile this again and run this segmentation fault it was expected so how do you allocate more than 8 mb the trick is to use heap now i have got like 8 gb on this system but even then my uh, operating system is only 32 bit so i cannot allocate more than 4 gigs to a process also all the memory which i want to allocate should be available in continuous fashion because when you ask uh, malloc to give a chunk of memory it will give you all at one go so let's see how much is free so this much is being used and i don't know which place is where so i really can't say but i have got like 6 gigs free so how much am i trying to allocate 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so roughly 1.2 gigs now let's see if this works 1.2 gigs can we allocate okay so 1.2 worked let's try to allocate 1.6 that also worked let's try to allocate 2 gigs okay i can allocate even 2 gigs that is approximately not really 2 gigs let's try 2 2.4 also i could let's try 3.6 okay so segmentation fault now this malloc tends work let's try with 3.2 no not going to work let's try 2.8 okay so it worked fine so it means out of uh, 4 gigs for one process i have roughly 2.8 gigs continuous memory free for this particular program <coughs> okay that was one thing now this a0 and this print is only to make sure that i don't get the unused variable warning so the key point is not erase anymore <coughs> the key point is heap so heap is the large area of memory which is available to your program and as of now in beginning as a c programmer you will write small programs but uh, later on you will be writing programs which will consume plenty of memory in order of gigabytes if we talk of today if we talk of 10 years later i don't know maybe terabytes Uh, I, I, if you talk 20 years later i don't know maybe petabytes exabytes also quite possible <coughs> so 
now we get so many integers allocated to us what do we do with this so we assign values to those because malloc will not put any value in this whatever value will be there originally that will be hold on this so if we don't assign a value the original value is meaningless to this program so star p will have some old value so we overwrite that we say 4 now we can also assign using array technique that is p1 is equal to 5 okay hang on let me delete can't comment this once more now star p is nothing but you can write this also as this and this you can write also as this this is known as pointer arithmetic or you can also say star p plus plus this will also give you the same okay pointer arithmetic applies only for addition and subtraction not for multiplication and division because it doesn't make sense to multiply two pointers or divide two pointers so it is restricted from a language point of view now note that when you increment p the address will increase by 4 because the type of pointer is integer which has got size of 4 bytes so it will increment by those many bytes by the type of pointer so if your type of pointer occupies n byte one increment or addition of one will change the address by n bytes so if you add it will go plus n if you subtract it will go minus n okay i'm terribly sorry eh, because i'm suffering from gold now there is one more difference between a and p now this allocation is known at compile time so if you apply size of a it will report you correct value of whatever 2 million 2 billion you give here but in case of a pointer this value is not known at compile time this is actually known at runtime and then if you apply size of at p you will get only 4 bytes therefore it is possible to know size of an array at compile time and therefore you can compute how many elements are there in array by dividing it by size of say int but you can't do that here really because you don't know how much you allocated at runtime so on, this is only known at runtime but size of is a compile time operator it needs to know the size of its argument at compile time now since this is not known it is not possible how many elements or how many ends did we allocate okay now since arrays are passed as pointers you pass the base pointer of array so if you have a function say in this case malloc is a function so similarly if you write a user defined function then the receiving function does not know the length of that particular array so you need to pass the length of array also if it's a string which is zero terminated then it's entirely different matter because you can call strlen and then get the length of string but if it's an end pointer you are supposed to pass the length of array also if you want to involve operations which depend on the length of that array so this is easy so i have written here p0 so that will print star p and then p1 so you have seen the output of the program right so there is nothing much now this will become actually 4 if i compile it run again um, depending on whether i have saved or not okay i have not saved so i compile again okay and not really 4 it it will get divided by 4 and size of p is 4 which is the size of the pointer so these are the basics of pointers and uh, in fact there are more basics we will have to um, um, learn how to pass pointers to functions and actually more fun will be when we start functions so what i will do is i'll start functions and I'll also mix uh, strings henceforth because now you know uh, what you call pointer. So let me take a bit of string also. So you see in char arrays, say for example char c. 
say I can say hello. So now this includes a backslash zero here, invisible. The total number of elements is how many? Six. Right? Similarly, you can say care pointer c is equal to hello. But ideally you should write const care pointer c. Okay, anyway. So c0 is h, c1 is e, c2 is l, c3 is also l and c4 is o. Now there are several functions which you can call or use with this c pointer. All those functions are defined in a header called string.h. So this is that header and if you are in a hurry I can point you to my book where these are organized in a better fashion okay so notice this so we go to string.h so if you go here you'll get all relevant functions here uh, I don't think that uh, this will list okay so these are all the functions useful with the string so we will also start doing these functions now along with pointers uh, it's right now it's just a copy of specification which also will get updated as I proceed with C11 this video is now getting longer so I'll cut it short in my next video I'll start mixing stuff uh, like functions and strings along with pointers please wait for my next video happy programming and keep programming that is the very key point of programming if you don't program you won't get better Thanks.